across the world, natural systems are in upheaval. In the Arctic, this right here is a climate emergency unfolding before our very eyes. Where there was once a thick layer of sea ice, it's now fragmented, broken up. Sea ice has already lost two-thirds of its volume over the past four decades, and this year's summer extent is the second lowest ever measured. The rapid loss of sea ice in the Arctic is a sobering indicator of how closely our planet is circling the drain. As the Arctic ice melts, more heat will be trapped by the ocean, and all of us will be more exposed by the devastating impacts of the climate crisis. And this year, those impacts have been brutal from record wildfires in the western United States, in the Brazilian Amazon and in Australia, to seemingly endless storms and hurricanes queuing up in the Atlantic, making landfall with colossal and catastrophic effect. This is about now, and we've only got about one degree of warming at the moment, and already we're seeing more extreme weather, we're seeing millions of people displaced from their homes every year, we're seeing devastation, both in poor countries and increasingly in rich countries. Despite Donald Trump's dismissal of reality, it'll start getting cooler. <laughs> I you wish just, you just watch. In contrast, this week, an unexpected boost from the world's biggest source of greenhouse gases, that's China, who pledged carbon neutrality by 2060, taking advantage of US reluctance to address the climate question. COVID-19 reminds us that humankind should launch a green revolution and move faster to create a green way of development, to preserve the environment and make Mother Earth a better place for all. Back in 2015, Christiana Figueres was one of the chief architects of the celebrated Paris Agreement. While welcoming China's move, she said the country, like the rest of the world, was at a major fork in the road. Because of the size of the economy, China still consumes more coal than the rest of the world combined. So you have these two internal realities in China that are basically one representing the future world that they want to move toward and the other representing the old world that they are moving beyond. And we have to understand that this is a process. At a time when the opportunity for change is fast melting away, there is no doubt world leaders need to front up and show the kind of commitment that got the Paris Agreement over the line. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera.